meteorologist Taft Price and Taft uh, certainly we're not dealing with any issues like that this morning. It's been really a fall like kind of day today. Yeah, it's been pretty nice out there. We've had some clouds around this morning, but that general trend is going to be for more sunshine for the second half of the day. The temperature is about 10 degrees below average. Looking forward to that. Not, not bad at all. As we move on through the day here in August, it's great when we see temperatures below average, and that's what we're going to see this afternoon with highs generally in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and it's going to be cool enough later on tonight. The question is, could we set a record low later on tonight and tomorrow morning here in the Tulsa area? We'll get to that in just a second. Also, warmer days are ahead. We're going to warm back into the mid to upper 80s, in some cases up around 90 degrees over the next six or seven days, but still below average for the next week or so. Definitely some good news in terms of those temperatures. All right, for tonight, I'm forecasting a low of 57 degrees here in the city. The current record is 57 for tomorrow, and that was set back in 1966. So you can tell we're seeing some very cool weather for the month of August, not only for high temperatures for today, but also tomorrow morning. Probably going to need a light jacket in some areas, as we'll see some temperatures outside of Tulsa drop into the low to mid 50s. As we take a live look down in McAllister, we are seeing a mix of sun and clouds out there in Pittsburgh County this morning, and that's what we've seen through the morning. Morning hours. We've seen a few showers and thunderstorms develop east of the McAllister area early this morning around Wilburton and those quickly pushed off to the south and to the east. Live look in Henrietta's move up to the north. Still mostly cloudy skies there fairly close to I-40. There's a live look from Union High School as we're looking off to the west. You notice still a bank of some clouds, but look over on the right hand side of your screen. A bit of clearing there. That is blue skies off to the west and the northwest. And our final stop out the Tulsa International Airport. And again, a mix of sun and clouds out there with more sunshine expected as we move through the afternoon hours. But all in all, not that bad in terms of our temperatures. We're not tracking any rainfall either here in Tulsa. It is quiet. It's been quiet all morning long. Most of eastern Oklahoma is quiet. We had those showers and isolated thunderstorms far southeast Oklahoma early this morning. Now I'm watching just a few showers moving across Interstate 35 right around the Stillwater area. And you notice those are dropping off to the south and to the southeast. And one or two of those showers could make it through Payne County, possibly into western areas of Creek County. But looks like most areas will stay dry as we move on through the afternoon hours. With rains over the last couple of days here in the city, we've picked up 4.72 inches of rainfall now for the month of August for the year. Over 41 inches of rainfall. That's running 14.37 inches above average so far for the year. We should only be at about 26.7 inches of rain through today. Our Brookside cameras are looking back to the north. You notice we are seeing some filtered sunshine out there. It's looking towards downtown and temperatures running in the lower 70s. 73 right now officially here in the city. Northeast winds of 7. They're going to stay relatively light throughout the day. And across the rest of the Tulsa metro, we're in the low to mid 70s, 75, very common from Sky Took to Collinsville, also Owasso, Catoosa and Claremore at 75, Jinx, Broken Arrow also at 75. And that sensor still not reporting over there in Lincoln County around Chandler. The rest of us, though, are reporting and we're seeing temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Still as warm as 80 degrees in McAllister, but a very pleasant 70 right now in Joplin, also in Springfield. Across the region, warmest weather has been pushed to the south, south of that cold front, nearing 90 degrees right now in Dallas. But you notice much of Oklahoma on up into Kansas and Missouri running in the low 70s this afternoon is what we're going to see those temperatures slowly warming into the upper 70s and low 80s. So on future track for the rest of the day, we'll see these clouds lingering for still another hour or two, and then we'll see more sunshine as we move on through the day. Mainly clear skies for this evening and overnight, and that's going to allow those temperatures to really drop off through the overnight hours. Low 80s expected southeast Kansas into northeast Oklahoma, all the way down to Interstate 40, and we'll see southeast Oklahoma temperatures generally in the lower 80s, and we'll see just a slight chance of a shower storm trying to pop up during the afternoon hours. Most areas, though, remaining dry. 82 today, 57 for tonight. That would tie that record low. Then sunshiny for tomorrow, 86, 88 and sunny on Wednesday. Then a weak front will move into southern Kansas and fall apart Thursday night into Friday, but close enough to give us a slight chance of rain and storms. Right now, the weekend looking warm, but still not bad for late August. Highs in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Not even approaching average today. You don't normally see that in August. No, 10 degrees below average. It's great, and the humidity levels very, very low, and they're going to stay low at least for the next couple of days. This week is looking great. Taft, yes. thank you very much. We will